Um, so as Chief Bryan said, we had officers responded to the area, uh, patrol officers. Uh, they had a couple obstacles to overcome right away, uh, one of which was that the, uh, the vehicle did not have a license plate um, and that uh, the, uh, the victim, in this case the mom, had just purchased the car from a buy here, pay here, uh, which it kind of muddied the waters in terms of us identifying the specific vehicle uh, that was taken. Uh, so our officers had to work through that. Uh, they were able to uh, do a, a lot of work and get that done, and then not, were able to notify detectives. Uh, like Chief Bryan said, uh, they started a grid search. Officers throughout the whole city uh, checked over a dozen addresses uh, throughout the city that had prior connections to Ms. Jackson, uh, whether we had documented that she'd you know, filed a report there, whether she'd lived there previously. Um, so officers throughout the city were, were assigned to this incident uh, and were, had ownership of and were vested in trying to locate these children. So um, detectives, when they, um, when they responded to the scene, uh, they uh, contacted the Highway Patrol about the Amber Alert. Uh, we finally got that issued, uh, and that went out statewide. Uh, we were able to, uh, to locate and identify several connections that Ms. Jackson had in the Dayton community. Uh, the people over there have been very supportive and very cooperative with our investigation, and Dayton PD and the, uh, the departments around uh, Dayton have been extremely helpful with us. So we are uh, extremely appreciative of that, and uh, we are continuing to look upon that co collaboration and, uh, and support as we continue to look for these children. And is she a known person to the police department uh, here in history, criminal history? She does have a criminal history through us, uh, I, I believe misdemeanor offenses, uh, but she has had several, several arrests through Columbus Police. That is correct. So, We're, yeah, we, we, we contacted the Highway Patrol about the Amber Alert at 1145. So can you explain what the lag was and why you couldn't put an Amber Alert out even without a license plate? Is that, is that protocol? Is that a judgment call? So there was um, some back and forth, I think, with, with us talking to the state about what the requirements were for the Amber Alert. Um, and obviously it's a unique circumstance when there's no license plate. Um, and in addition, we were trying to verify the VIN number of the vehicle. Uh, so there were some obstacles that we had to go through with that. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, we obviously pushed forward that our position was that we needed the Amber Alert, and it was necessary in this case. Uh, and the you know, Highway Patrol, uh, you know, put, put it out. The Amber Alerts were not put out earlier, despite their plea. And she said that she gave, that gave the suspect that much more time to leave the city uh, without anybody knowing. Uh, how, do you, how do you respond to the family's concerns about that? I would say that um, I understand her concerns, and obviously I think that in, in a perfect world we would love to have had it out a little bit earlier, but that our officers uh, did the best they could dealing with the chaotic scene and going through the steps that they needed to go through. And obviously our investigators considered it a top priority to get the Amber Alert out, and uh, we're very adamant that that needed to be a, the next step in the investigation, and uh, we were able to make it happen. Yes. I mean, at, at this, in all fairness, yes, we consider this child to be in danger. That's why we are expending the resources we are, and we are asking for the community's help. Uh, and, we, you know, this is a, a cry for help. We are asking for the community to come forward and help us locate this child. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.